we're going to be replacing the batteries on the Casio G-Shock. This is the model number 5302. Here's a picture of the front. The protect protection. It's a nice little watch my uncle gave me and it died uh, not too long after I got it. Um, unfortunately I didn't have any batteries so here we go. We're going to start with the four Phillips screws. We've got a small Phillips driver with a very fine tip on it. If you wanted to you could remove the band. It makes it a little bit easier. All right, we're going to set these screws aside. I've already taken this apart once, um, so I don't have any batteries in it. I took them out to search for the correct ones. You'll remove this uh, first, this metal back plate. It's also got, this is your speaker, uh, so you have a little metal contact here. Let's see, bring that up. The metal contact here, um, that's how it, this is the speaker. And I just put this sticker here because I knew it tells you how to install the batteries. Um, so I didn't want to lose that. So it says after battery replacement, connect AC with minus using tweezers. So I'll have to get my tweezers out. Next you've got this plastic ring and this rubber gasket here. The rubber gasket this is pretty easy to come out. Just be careful, you don't want to damage it. it could affect your water resistance. Alright, I've got my little screwdriver. Or screwdriver. Tweezers. Just gonna be very careful removing this. Notice the orientation lines up with the buttons. Three openings, three buttons, two openings on this side, two buttons. Next we've got this piece, which is the whole come on, should fall out. I'm going to be very careful with it. Because this is the brains of the watch. There we go. And it's got these little retainers here. turn this off if it's better here we go it's got these little retention uh, tabs let's see if you can see those they're a little better to see right there and they help hold that plate in that whole piece so we'll put this off to the side now um, if you get anything in here you can clean the crystal now's a good time um, it's just a good time to give it an overall inspection if you want to. Cleaning that with a microfiber cloth is a good idea. So now we've got the brains. As you can see, it looks like there's nowhere to put a battery. So, I'm going to turn my light on here. You've got these clips. Here, here, here's one, 
another and another so you're going to very gently open these clips just a little bit don't be too hard if you bend them and you have to bend them back you have the possibility to break them so you just want to ever so slightly release them I'm not going to mess with that one yet alright so that is almost all of them still have this little one left There we go. Once you got those, you can just move around and lift up slightly. It's all about just having the patience and being very careful. So you don't want to bend it, um, you don't want to separate all of the watch just need to open this to get to the battery which is right here Let's see if there's one right there There we go. It's part of it. It's just being a little finicky. Okay. So just remember the orientation. This little piece covers the batteries. And we'll refer to our little sticker that I saved. positive up on both of them so I've got my matching batteries here Energizer 395 399's we're gonna pop those out positive up open see so we've got some messages now so it says connect contact AC with negative using tweezers AC I think thought something said AC. Oh, AC right there. So that should be connect AC with tweezers. We'll see if it works without that. I'm going to see if this. Okay. So if you see the metal contact for the speaker there's these two contacts here Let's see if we make contact changes to Friday open so we gotta be cognizant of that Let's set this here 
I'm gonna make sure um, that all 